Uh, Xander, you're back from your loan spell with, with Queen of the South. How, how did it go over the course of the season? No, it was great for me. Great to get back out again and loan, play games. Um, felt it sort of came at the right time for me. I was um, felt good to get back out, get the games and whatnot. So really enjoyed it. And then it was just unfortunate there. And um, Tuesday night, that, uh, Tuesday, we well, sorry we get the win. Then and Saturday, it was just unfortunate after the extra time, you know. Um, so one to take, but I suppose that's the joys of football. Eh? A great experience for yourself as well. Oh, definitely, it's um, a great experience, especially to go to the championship. You know, it's a much more competitive league than what I had been used to, um, and I felt that I went and done well. And as I say, I had a ball playing there, and it was a great experience. What, what do you think you've learned? You've been out alone before, but what do you think you learned from from this season at Queen of the South? Oh, I learned a lot more. Um, just as I say, it's a much higher standard. Um, bigger crowds every week, which was um, which was something that I enjoyed playing in front of. Um, just I felt I improved a whole lot of new things in my game. Um, communication was one of the, th the main things, and obviously my decision making team is I never get any red cards this year, so I take it I've learned to something there. How, how many red cards did you have before? It was Elgin you had before? Elgin, Elgin I did that before then, so it was three, three that season, so hopefully that's all I'm going to get in my career. Yo, and uh, Tommy Wright and people at the club just now, how, how much have they been kind of following your progress at Queen of the South this season? Yeah, well, um, the gaffer and um, Banksy had been in touch with me f um, a lot throughout the season just to let me know how I'd been getting on and we progress updates and maybe things that I could improve on that they've seen at the games that they've been at. So, no, they've been great. They had kept in contact and obviously um, grateful for that as well. And you signed a, a new contract with St Johnston. How, how long does that last? Yeah, well, just in today and signed a two-year deal. So, delighted with that, obviously. Get myself back um, pre-season and let's just need to kick back on again. It's can't rest on what I've done there that season there. So when I come back in pre-season, I'll have a head down again, just looking to go again. Um, the, the, the staff of the club, obviously Steve Banks and your fellow goalkeepers, guys like Alan Manis, how supportive are, are they in your development? Yeah, everybody's been very supportive. Um, Alan, Alan Banks and obviously the gaffer as well. Um, they'd all been saying that it was the sort of right move for me at my age and whatnot to go and get the games. And as I say, in the championship was only the league below, which was um, which was great for me and I relished it. I felt that I went and done well. And as I say, Alan, and Banksy more so were um, in contact a lot, asking how I'd got on and congratulating me on wins and telling me to keep the head up and whatnot if we were getting defeats. So, no, they've been great and obviously it's great to learn from these kind of people. Well, it's obviously it's, um, it's a great occasion for the club. Um, I can see hopefully the boys can go out and get the job done. You know, they, they won the dress rehearsal, as you call it, the other week there. So, hopefully they can go again on Saturday and do the same job. Yeah, it'd be great for the club then. How big a thing is it for the club just to be in a Scottish Cup final? Oh, it's massive. Um, ever since I've came, um, the club have always been looking to try and get to Scottish Cup finals and come close. So it's a big, it's a big deal. You can see with the, the amount of tickets that have been sold and then driving up in through Perth there. You can see in the, the town centre and whatnot all the all the support for the local businesses and everything. So it's the city of Perth in a massive high, and um, hopefully they can take that through on Saturday and get behind the boys. And it was a two-year contract you've signed, so just finally, what's your, your your goals now going into those two years? Well, hopefully, um, as I say, I'll come back pre-season, try and get myself, um, keep myself ticking over over the summer, come back in pre-season, get my head down and then try and get myself into the gaffer's plans. It's um, um, something that I aim to do and if I, if I do well in pre-season and that, then um, just see what happens from there.